Well, we're, that's why we're taking this uh, stagger approach. We're opening uh, slowly, we're monitoring, we have data, we've been testing everyone coming into Greece in the past uh, uh, days and weeks. Uh, so we have collected a lot of data to uh, base our decisions on, on science. And on top of that, we have um, strict hygienic protocols to ensure that uh, even if there are uh, cases, uh, the disease will not spread uh, widely. Um, and um, finally, we're open in ensuring that we, we will take the mainly localized decisions should there be a need to control the uh, disease uh, in a more strict uh, manner. So, so we're, uh, we're successful from the start of the crisis exactly because we're taking those tough decisions early and because we have the cooperation of the whole uh, Greek population. So we're doing uh, the best. You don't live in a risk-free world, but uh, our aim is to open safely. Minister, I was looking at some new measures around plexiglass, the spacing out of tables at restaurants, also a recommendation for outdoor check-in at hotels. The doors are open, but clearly capacity is going to be impacted and there are extra costs of doing business. What sort of shape do you think many businesses will be in on the back of this tourism season? Well, of course, the, the current focus is to open safely and most of the businesses to be there, to be ready to accept uh, customers and visitors. Um, and to, to be able to support themselves through the normal uh, functioning of the economy. But we're standby, we're ready to assess um, how this process goes and to see who needs help, both from the side of the, the employees and from the side of the businesses. So, so we'll, we'll aim to increase the, the support packets if that is what is uh, required. Minister, I'm at Gatwick Airport, an eerily quiet Gatwick Airport today, but everybody here, including the CEO of EasyJet, who spoke to me earlier, is desperate uh, to get air corridors open between the EU, uh, Greece, of course, uh, and indeed the United Kingdom. Do you have any indication from either the UK Transport Secretary, Home Secretary or anyone else that there is progress being made on air bridges? Well, we've uh, certainly given the, the right indications. So we would like to see how... Um, you know, if we can open the connectivity as quickly as possible. Uh, of course, we have to wait and give Europe a chance to, to, to come with one set of coherent policies as far as third countries are concerned. So um, we're hoping that uh, when this process in the next few days, this is a matter of days, uh, finalizes, we'll be able to give a clear signal to the market, to the companies that you mentioned and the other companies in the tourism industry, um, that, uh, you know, uh, depend on uh, uh, an open sky on those corridors that you mentioned or in general on tourism functioning. So, so, so this is the aim. Um, unfortunately, this is a, a risky situation, so we have to be uh, prudent and err uh, sometimes in the side, uh, in the side of caution. Uh, but we will, do, we will do so, rest assured, while giving enough clarity to the businesses to operate.